It's hard to put in words how special the French River is as both a place and a destination for an angler. The French provides opportunities to catch a multitude of species, ranging from the trophy-sized pumpkin seeds to a world-class-sized muskie, and everything in between. This body of water at times can be difficult to figure out and can leave you scratching your head, but can also produce moments that change a fisherman's life forever. Once again, this slice of heaven produced multiple memories for us that we are so excited to share with you. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Backlash Angling. We have a bit of a different one here. I feel like I say that a bunch with tons of videos is we got a bit of a different one here, but this one's more of a basis of working around kind of the longer video that I just had. We had tons of content that it was just like stuff we couldn't put together in one video. We just didn't get a storyline together. So we had to sit seven, to, seven days of fishing. Yeah, seven days of fishing that <laughs> we just like, it's piece by piece and was like, it's better just to sit down and talk it out and kind of get through it than put it together in a bunch of kind of messy content. So that's why we're sitting down here. We're talking things out. And what we're talking about is obviously you guys saw from the intro is our trip from French River this year in 2022. And it was a pretty sweet one. It was solid. Yeah, our yeah. best year. Musky wise. Musky wise and big fish wise. Yeah, sure. it was unreal. So yeah, to get down into it, yeah. The first thing we wanted to talk to you about was just kind of how our trip started was we kind of got off to a bit of a walleye bite, which was the first kind of starting thing we happened, which the interesting thing about the walleye is like, for us, I find is like, we don't catch it in the normal situation of like what we've been used to, like going up north and like what we work, like that mud flat. Yeah, it's just, yeah, a big flat in the middle of nowhere, it seems like, and it <laughs> seems to hold fish every yeah, year. It every always produces. Every year we go, it seems to happen. So. And in the weirdest times though, it's like that dawn to dust bite doesn't always work out. It's always, it's just always seems to be that dawn bite. Yeah. Pretty much. Like we can't get it any other way, which is weird. And it's we're so used to fishing normal shoals, we're in normal like normal rock points. And don't get me wrong, that's probably there's probably tons of places along the France that we don't know because we don't fish it enough. Hundred percent. But this seems to be just a big mud flat that we target walleye on, and we always produce. It seems to always produce some in the morning. Doesn't yeah. seem to be that duck that dust bite, but always that dawn bite seems to always be salt, which yeah. is sweet. So yeah. the first, one of the first or second or days, me, you, Maddie, and Ayala got out and we hit them pretty good yeah. and it was pretty sweet. So overall, some of that content here, uh, yeah, it was a pretty solid wallet bite. You know, we were able to get a bunch of loins for the pan and we had a nice fish wreck. So check it out. There we go. Do you want me to net it? <laughs> it's Alrighty, third species of the morning. Wally, crappy, and they smoke. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Nailed it. Hit some slack into my line. That's a wally. That's a good wally. That's a good wally. Coming in. Let's go. Thank you, loins. Loins, loins, loins. Okay, so we've been out here for about 20 minutes now. We've got, uh, this is our second walleye a lot. This is a good size that we're looking for. Got a nice little smallie on Zach's, but yeah, hopefully we can get more of those and then we can get a good old fish taco meal later in the week. But these are exactly what we're looking for. French River Gold. Let's go. On. My life. <coughs> There's my fish. There's Maddie's fish. Nice little fingerling. Loins, loins, loins. Oh, 
Okay, so the one thing, yeah, like, so the one thing that's crazy and the one thing that I love about the French and I think that's something that makes it so special is just a wide variety. Like just, it's insane how many different species you can catch and this year was no exception, just like many other years. Like what, how many did we get on and what did we all? I think we were working through it and we were either, we couldn't definitively say we caught a white crappie. I think it was, but we, we, we were pretty sure. sure we did. Yeah. And that was either to get us at 11 or 12. Yeah. And of course at the French, we have all these books of all types of fish and everything. So we worked through that and made it through. But yeah, you just, especially in that morning, but you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. Like, like we, I think we've at that one spot, the mud flat, I think we've got seven species. One, yeah. One day. One morning. Yeah. Like it's insane. Like the French holds incredible like it's just incredible multi-species you can catch perch you can catch uh walleye you can catch musky you can catch pike catfish. sturgeon catfish uh it's crappie sunfish. smallmouth largemouth sunfish like it's it's literally limitless of what you can catch and what we've been experiencing the last few years which is insane is some of their giant catfish yeah and you and Ayala were lucky to hook up you you two, caught two nice tanks yeah. and Ayala caught it an absolute giant too. So like these catfish aren't you're just your normal little channel catch from down south. Like these are upwards to like close close to ten pounds. I'd say or yeah. over. The one was over. For one sure. was over. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Both we of mine were over. Yeah, yeah, we got some sweet footage of that and like just yeah like yeah it's always surprise you never know if you got an absolute trophy walleye or trophy yeah. other species. You're always you're always hoping it's going to be a walleye, but it's it's one of those species you're like you're kind of laughing at cuz it's it is catfish, but at the same time they put up a hell of a fight mm -hmm. and it's a pretty cool species to catch. So, yeah. check out some of this footage. This was pretty insane. Some giant cats and actually I'm hoping to get one in the following years cuz they're pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check it out. A couple on bottom still. That's bigger. I don't know what that is. That's a big cat, I'm assuming. I hope this is a walleye, but I'm assuming it's a nice cat. Alright folks. Welcome to a morning with Backlash Anglin here, baby. We got a rod bender. Come on, be a big wally. Be a big wally. Definitely not. I can feel the big tail kicks. I literally can't do anything. I see it. Oh, oh and now she's right back to the bottom, folks. We got jaws on our hands. Okay, head, head first again. Got the whole thing in the water and lift. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not touching that. That is a tank. Oh my god. Alright, that is by far my PB on the French. Heck of a fight. Greasy looking things. A good picture and we'll get a release on her. Alrighty. This is two PB mornings for me. We got a PB crappy on the line. Cat, seeming like it. Good fight. <laughs> Screaming drag, baby. Okay, try to keep your rod, like walk, walk two steps forward. Yeah, just so we're away from the boat. Okay, keep your rod away from the boat, away from the boat, away from the boat, away from the boat. 
Here we go. It's spinning, spinning, spinning. Got it. So as you can see, like crazy, crazy, some of the craziest fights that we have had on the French are those catfish. And leading into it, catfish are sweet. But the one thing that, another one thing that we target the most up there is it's gotta be smallies. Smallies are probably our- Most plentiful too, I would say. Yeah. Easily the population, areas, yeah. the population's insane. Yeah. And that's not something that I think we experienced. We've been going up to the French for over, close to 12 years now. And I don't recall it being ever, I don't know, I may miss my memory, but like that good. Like I know towards yeah. Georgian Bay, it's always been pretty insane. The small fishery there is just absolutely nuts because it's yeah. so remote and just the, the structure and stuff is just small heaven. But I think we've, well, we've, the Ned rig definitely has helped. That's been a huge upgrade. Yeah. Areas. That's absolutely a lot for targeting a lot of the rocky points and stuff. And then, yeah, I think just we found some certain areas that seem to be holding them a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, honestly, yeah. yeah it, I don't know how many we catch in a week, but we catch tons. Okay, so before we dive into our muskie, which is going to be the main topic of this conversation about this video, is our muskie, is we've actually had, this year was really unique in the way of we spend more time muskie fishing than I say, I would say that we have in the past. By far. It's where we stay on the French is there's there is musky spots around there's been plenty of 50s in the past that are caught around there mm -hmm. but i would say the population wise isn't as dense no. as you might find and if you do a little bit of traveling we do about 45 minute boat ride to get to spots that are kind of closer to georgian bay which we found especially this year bigger water yeah, yeah. bigger water and testing that area out and f just getting closer to that big body of water is we found more muskies so spending more a little bit more time on there and tossing around those big baits, we came across some of the trophy fish that we've never caught mm -hmm. in the past. And even Corey saying, being there for the last 40 yeah. some odd years, saying like, these are the biggest, biggest pike, biggest walleye we've ever caught. So we're like throwing around baits, like, like what did you got your, that big cat on? What was it? On a Poseidon. On a Poseidon. Yeah. Uh, dad caught a 27 inch walleye on a Poseidon, I believe. Yeah. Corey has got it on a Royal Orba. Royal Orba. And so, his muskie and yeah. walleye were both on it. On the same thing. So just casting around, it just shows you the appetite of these bigger fish. These big fish we've got, we caught, was Corey's a 28 and a half or something like that, 28 inch walleye. Yeah, 27 and a half thing. Yeah, trophy fish, yeah. nonetheless. And trophy pike, that was the other thing we found. We've, we are so notorious for going up on the French and having a good pike fishery quantity wise, but catching nothing over, say, a 30 inch pike would be huge. A bigger, a <laughs> yeah. bigger pike there. And then this year, we finally found and stumbled on a couple mid 30s, like yeah. a 35, 36, we 37, I think. Five over 30. Yeah, yeah which day. is yeah. just That's something, right. yeah, something we haven't done in the past yeah. and haven't had the chance to even encounter. So those big baits just really show you that even in the summertime, they're searching for those big things. So we've got some awesome footage there. So we're gonna roll some of that pike footage, we're gonna roll some of that giant walleye footage, and then like I said, we'll get started with the, the musky talk. Wow, that's a BBI for sure. <laughs> that's dead. Nice. <laughs> Good kick. Got a kick. I gotta bring her in. There we go. Go, my friend. That's the man coming out of her. It's gotta be 27, eh? Twenty-seven and a half. Twenty-seven and a half. Down for a bit. See them chomp on her head? Oh no. 
from back last year. Beast die. This is where the big ones are at. Holy 27 inch walleye. 27. So, uh, throw in uh, the uh, Fire Tiger Poseidon. And once again, I hit another eye. We're going for musky, but 27 inches. She's a beaut. Gotta love it. That's a tank. <laughs> That's a tank. Okay, I Trolling behind it with a blade. Yeah. It's moving. It's a good fish. Oh, it's a mega pike. That's a huge pike. <laughs> Wow, that's the biggest pike I've ever seen on the French, by far. Miss a chunk. Big 38, 37 and a half. 37 and a half. <laughs> that is huge. Bigger my musky. That's awesome. <laughs> kind of discussed all the species that kind of targeted and got after it's finally to get on to the last one which is the muskie this year uh was definitely our highest quantity like i said we were there for seven days or six days six days i guess mm -hmm. and honestly the time wise that we put into it it's not a six day musky trip we okay. tried to grasp as much time as possible with cooking and stuff like that and like having the girls there and stuff like that you're not throwing 12 hour days on a 30 40 minute run a 30 40 minute, minute run that's around the corner yeah, yeah exactly it's putting time and effort into it it's we don't have as much time as obviously you would on a, a musky trip it's not necessarily a musky trip yeah. but we got it out so the first one we can talk about which is we'll talk about Corey's and then we can get into yours is Corey's musky was yeah. pretty sweet he got that on the same day as uh you got your one, right? Uh, was that the day prior? Uh, so no, that was on... No. no. I'm trying to think. That was the day prior. Yeah. No, yeah. so no, so that was the last day. So you had left at that point. Oh, yeah. And it was just me, Dad, and Corey. We had the whole day to ourselves. So yeah. we, we probably took off at like 10 in the morning kind of thing. And like the target was big fish. So mm -hmm. Corey, there's a spot that we've been wanting to try for a while. And I think he's either heard a musky caught there or something like that and it's kind of this big it's a big bay and it's kind of a mouth with it with its rocky point mm -hmm. it screams musky like it's got this big shoal and sure enough we were we were screwing around with the trolling motor we got it going and probably like three or four o'clock later he sucked up yeah and it was this sweet little kind of like mid i think it was low through what low 30s like a, yeah low 30 32 sweet 34. Mark. Yeah, yeah, sweet markings on it and the same bait that he caught his 28 and a half inch walleye. So safe to say that he's kind of found that new bait and it's yeah. kind of his new favorite, which is the, uh, it was the Royal Orba 
think it's just a walleye pattern. Nice white tail on it. Yeah. Kind of like speckled golden yeah. thing. So that was a sweet muskie. We'll roll that footage now and then we can get into uh, to talk about Zach's muskies. See him? Come on, baby. Oh, he's right there. He's coming that way. I got a camera this way. I don't have the big one, but I got this one. Here you go. Let's go. <laughs> Unreal. Hey, you called it. Bouncing off a rock for half a second. There you go, boys. Nice little French River musky. Right at the yeah. mouth of Bees Bay. Emerald green. <laughs> Sweet. Got a bump. What she got? 36? Call 36. Nice. Call 36. There she goes. That's beautiful, beauty colors. Okay, so first one, you've got a, you had a sweet year for something you wanted. Your first thing that you had a checklist, which we talked about on the hot ones, was you wanted to get a French River Muskie. That was checked. Yep. Another one that you never had was a top water. Well, you've got you had a top water muskie up at E regular, right? Found a buzzbait. I think I had a no, I didn't, but no, I don't think uh, I've okay. ever got so one. So first, first, first one, one then, yeah. which is sweet. I had the pleasure of catching one last year, which you guys. Are, if you're following the channel, you see my 48 inch on the French, which was sick. So you finally got your top water one. Yeah. So kind of work this way through that one, how that one kind of went down. Yeah, so we'll save the, the big one for last, yeah. but I had already bagged one earlier in the day. Or no, it was earlier, earlier in the week. Earlier in the week, yeah, sorry. And then this was later on, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it was right at the end of the day. And uh, we literally said classic Fisher talk. We're like, yeah, last little spot. We'll do like two mm -hmm. more casts here. And again, it made perfect sense. Big rocky shoal, a lot of current going through it. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't huge. I don't even think we bumped it. But no, I think it was, yeah. A little but it was nice. It was on a, it was, a, and it was, it was funny too. It was on this old lure. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it's that, that kind of whopper you know, plopper. Like a whopper plopper. And bait. that week, we, I had had like five blobs on I it. Know. I couldn't catch one. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get one on this one, and then sure enough, yeah. yeah. So it's it was pretty sweet. It's such a, it's like a subtle whopper plopper. I'll get a little footage of it, but it's like a whopper plopper bait. But it seemed like it wasn't pushing off as much noise. Yeah, it was like a lot more subtle, and they seemed to be all and earlier in the week. I had five blobs yeah. like one night on it. Yeah, we had hiker musky. Yeah, or both yeah, probably potentially both. Yeah, we yeah. Had definitely had a shot at more musky throughout the week. But yeah, check out the footage. Kind of cool near both side eating. It was probably 25 feet out. It was pretty sweet. So yeah. check it out. I'm ready. Right, right at the end of the night here, we were tossing the, the no-name top raider that's had five or six hits this week. And this little guy smoked her. Not a big one. Get a quick well, bump on her. Good bump. Pretty little fish. Yeah, 30, 32 and a bit. Awesome colors on it. Get her back in the net, get a picture, and then we'll probably be heading home. Yeah. <clears throat>
Yeah, nice fish. And down she goes. So now on to the big one. This is kind of the reason why you guys tuned into this video. This is probably a thumbnail. And if you stuck with this video so far and you're watching, I hope you guys are enjoying. But yeah, let's talk about the big one. Uh, 48 and a quarter. A football field distance away from mine the previous year, which is pretty sweet. We kind of broke down this area. Uh -huh. And yeah, <laughs> pretty sweet catch. Absolute chaos in the boat. 100%. Which <laughs> makes it special because at the same time, we're, we're in a 17 foot boat. There's six of us. The three girls are in there chilling out, hanging out, having and some fun. Dog. And yeah, and, and, kiwi. and a new puppy. Yeah. And three guys casting around pound baits. Yeah. And yeah, how, like testing this water, like we have worked certain areas, certain amount, but we touched, we had never touched this white side. And then like kind of had that break down because you were on the edge, which you guys will see in the video. So it's kind of tough, but like what was going on there? What were So yeah, to sum it up, basically it was, it was a cool, cool catch all in the round because the girls were there Fun and to experience you'll see the in the video that they're not paying attention at all i think they were actually like pouring a drink or something as yeah. it's happening but it's just kind of cool that they got to see what we dream of and yeah we, what we live for as musky fishermen. musky fishermen and i think they realized like okay this is pretty cool yeah but yeah basically they're all there it's you know six people in that boat it's tight so that's why i'm fishing on the edge for, for whatever reason yeah, just literally the and uh yeah we're coming around like i've said for the last few it was <clears throat> this nice rocky point screams musky again mm -hmm. exact same spot i caught the big old cat later on in the week too yeah and uh yeah it hit and it was cool because i actually it hit i don't know maybe five ten feet out yeah. but you could see, see the it. head you know come up and my biggest at that point was a 46, but I, I didn't think it was that big. Yeah, the thing about this fish was, I think it's on the decline, because it was a long slender fish, it but the, the head on, the melon on this head uh, fish was just insane. It was yeah. giant, like it had a head that was just ridiculous. And I saw the whole head flare yeah. up and yeah. grab it, so that was pretty cool. And it was a cool fight, my dad, We'll say <laughs> it was an interesting tough, net job. It was a tough net job. We'll put that into the chaos factor of it. There, there's a lot yeah. of pressure there, but well, yeah, we were glad that we got it in. And I knew, I knew as soon as it was in the net. I even when I was recording the stuff, I was like that. I could see it. Yeah. I, I honestly thought my first glance that it was 50, and then I realized, but it was, it was pretty sweet. And like you said, like it kind of gave a glimpse to the girls of like that like craziness and madness of musky fishing well because up to that point it was a disaster too that yeah. day we hit, hit the motor smoked broke prop. a prop Skag we gone. lost a pair of sunglasses Skag gone. we i don't even know it was yeah, just like was, everything was going wrong and then this happened and it was yeah, like it was like good again yeah, it was like <laughs> so, made it worth it while so yeah, yeah check out this footage and then uh we're gonna leave it at that we'll cut this video off after that footage it was Another unbelievable week up the French. As always, we can't thank the Antonolis enough for allowing us and 100%. just letting us be up at the cottage. That's probably for us is one of our favorite weeks of the year getting up there. And now we have that boat's ours now, which is sweet. And Corey's got his boat, so we definitely have the ability to start exploring more of that area and hopefully cracking down on some more muskies. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you're enjoying any of other, our other content, please subscribe. We're about 150 away from that thousand subscriber mark. If we could hit that by the end of 22, that would, or 2022, that would be absolutely incredible. So thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Cheers. Okay, go. Ooh, big musky, big yeah, musky, yeah, yeah. big musky. Woo!
All right, so All right. we went back to the here. Had five hits last night, didn't bag one. And come around the corner here, put on Poseidon that uh, Corey caught his big one on. And uh, she produced. So we're gonna grab this guy here quick. He's long and skinny. Got a big head on it though. Oh. Quick bump on this guy. All right. Oh, that's long. 47 and 3 48 yeah. 48 and a quarter <laughs> four footer we're gonna put her back in that's cool i told you dude i i told you that's a new pv i knew it it's a what? new pv four feet four footer okay, so <laughs> how are we feeling uh yeah <laughs> a little jittery Look at that beast. Now what are we doing? Keep her at your hand or down there. What's going on? Back down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> As another year has come and gone at the French, I think back on a famous quote I learned in university. Nature's man's teacher. She unfolds her treasures to his search, unseals his eye, illumines his mind, and purifies his heart, and influence breathes from all sights and sounds of her existence. Every year we are lucky enough to disappear from society and plunge ourselves into the rich wildness of the French River. Each year I learn something new, and yet leave longing for more, Cheers to all those who have followed along with our French River story. Here's to next year and discovering more of this northern paradise.